All right, what is the chip of the day? Uh, it's gonna be chips of the day. It's a particular type of chip. Let's get them onto a tray. Nice. All right. Let me, uh, let me change lenses since these are small things. Let's, uh, let's change lenses so we can get down real close. All right, these are photodiodes. Lots of different types of photodiodes. Uh, because I did a lot of electro-optics in my day, I have accumulated lots of photodiodes. And um, they come in all different packages and shapes and sizes and stuff. Um, here's, a, here's a simple one. It's just got... It's just got two leads on it, and the photodiode is bonded between those two leads, so that's super easy. Uh, here's one that's uh, that looks like an LED, but it's in a black package, and it's just a photodiode on a lead frame. Um, those little metal ones, these super super tiny ones here, they have a little a little lens on them, and a tiny little photodiode. Uh, Here's a phototransistor. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I can find here a... Uh, here's a photoresistor. Oops, sorry, my fingers are in the way. Yeah. Let's see if I can stick these on some blue tack so I, I can keep them still while I'm photographing them. Yeah, so this one is a uh, CAD sulfide uh, variable resistor, res resistance to light. Um, let me show you that other photodiode since I have a better camera thing set up now. Uh, let's see, I need to get some... Yeah, it's hard to photograph these things because they're kind of shiny. Let's see here. Uh, how about... How about this one? That's a good one. Uh, here's a photodiode in a package. And... Here's another one, photodiode in a package. Um, here's like a TO92 package, but uh, the uh, top of the package has a, a little, clear, little clear window and has a photodiode in there. Um, here's some cute little ones. These are... Uh, like little lead frames, and you turn them around, and they are little, little photodiodes. This is a lot like that uh, plastic IC I sh showed you. That was the uh, light to frequency conversion. It's a uh, kind of the same thing. It's epoxy, clear epoxy. Those are fun. Uh, anything else interesting in this pile of stuff? There's a lot of them. There is a lot of them, but they're mostly repeats. Yeah, mostly repeats. I don't see anything too interesting. I think there, w there was one interesting one in here in the pile. Let me see if I can see if I can find it. Not that one. 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 I thought it was one of the big ones. Uh, yeah, this one. I found it. Yeah, uh, stick that on there. I don't know how well that photographs, but it's two photodiodes. Um, and so the, there'll be a left photodiode and a right photodiode. And uh, they're really good for like robotics and stuff if the light is over to one side you can make your robot go towards the light and no, it knows what direction the light's coming from if it has more light on one photodiode and less light on the other photodiode. So this is photo, two photodiodes in uh, one package. So that's, that's super cool. Uh, a lot of these diodes came from uh, work. Uh, you work on a project and then once you're done with the project, you have a whole bunch of engineering samples and, uh, pre-production units and stuff and you know you can't sell these things and uh, you know they're kind of used in 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 most ways 
and so there's not really much to do with them and they usually go in the trash can so engineers generally stockpile them at home and <laughs> you'll that's why you have a lot of people's little boxes at home with full of parts they got from work um i'll show you a couple other ones before we leave here uh is this going to be too big it might be too big let me back the camera out all right this is a big one centimeter in diameter photodiode um and it's on a bnc and uh, so you can buy them packaged up uh a clear one like this so it's what's called radiometric it's just uh photodiodes and, uh output current depending on how much light comes in so there's usually a, 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 a some type of transfer between the two. It's amps per watt. How many amps do you get for how many watts of light you have? And there's a data sheets will tell you how many amps per watt uh, particular diodes will have. And uh, this one is from the same company. These are uh, UDT. These are really high expensive uh, photodiodes. Uh, yeah, here's another one focus on that so it's a little bit smaller not uh not one square i mean not one centimeter across it's uh i think these are actually one square one square centimeter in area and i'm not sure what this one is because uh, really you want to know the area because it's so many uh microwatts per square centimeter and you kind of need to know that in your calculations so they just make these in uh in even units to make your math easy um so there you go uh Lots of, uh, lots of photodiodes. I, I did a video on this one. This is a, um, it's not silicon. It's uh, indium, gallium, and, or something or other. Uh, it, it's uh, sensitive to infrared light uh, for fiber optic use. Uh, but most of these are all silicon. Um, all right, chip of the day, photodiodes.